Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and giving a very quick review of this official Xbox headset. My goal here isn't to be super technical, I'm sure you've looked up all the specs. I want to share my perspective as a real user who plays for a few hours every day. Right off the bat, I got a positive impression. The packaging was great, and the product design was really nice. And the crazy part is that the product looks even better in person. One thing that you'll notice is that there's a lot of padding on both the headband and the ear cups. And from a comfort perspective, this is good news. The design isn't the only thing that's minimalistic. You'll find that everything that comes inside is too. And I say that because it only comes with a headset, a cable, and some instructions. And not that it matters too much, but with every passing generation, I feel like there are less and less bonuses inside the packaging. I guess the positive here is that it gives you more of a chance to be excited about the actual headset. You'll notice that it doesn't actually have many buttons, and I kind of like that. To keep the design simple, Microsoft turned these green rings into the volume knobs. The left side lets you pick whether you want to hear more of the game audio or the chat, while the right side just gives you control of the overall volume. They seem a little gimmicky, but from a real gaming perspective, it's actually really nice. You can toggle through these settings without having to spend much time looking for the volume controls. And when playing a live game, that's pretty important. And now we can move on to the buttons that it does have. It has a mute button on the actual microphone, and the green button is the power button. And now, we're moving on to my second favorite part. Since this is a Microsoft product, the Xbox treats it as such. Because of the compatibility, the headset gets recognized immediately and has so many volume options that I haven't seen on any other headsets. At least not directly on this interface, they usually need a separate application. I tried this headset for a little under two weeks before sharing my opinion on it. The comfort is great, you can wear it for hours without any issues, and I mentioned that the settings are really easy to manage. But my favorite thing about this headset is the sound quality. Microsoft references this on the website, but of course I didn't want to take their word on it until I experienced it for myself. Their audio really is crystal clear, and the bass is perfect. But this brings me to the negative part of this review. The microphone isn't as clear as they say it is. All of the people that listen to me on a chat regularly agreed that my microphone was a downgrade from what I had before. Unfortunately, that says a lot because the other headset came out four years ago. Part of the loss in quality could be due to the short length of the microphone on the Xbox headset. I do think that's something Microsoft could have really improved on. And I really don't think it would have cost them that much more to upgrade it. If that's something you can live with, I think this is the perfect headset. I love this product, but I just really wish it had a better microphone.